Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It is Smoked Alive, and today we're gonna be doing the best of beauty in 2017. I did a poll on my Instagram because I'm a little bit behind because I had the flu, so if you hear me snotting or sneezing or coughing, excuse me, um, but 85% of you said you still wanted to see this video, so let's jump right in. Okay, so I have a bin right here full of makeup, and let's start with my favorite highlighters of 2017. You guys have probably already guessed it. It is the Jeffree Star Skin Frost Highlighters. My number one shade has been the shade Ice Cold. If you guys have not seen this, you must be sleeping under a rock. It is gorgeous. This is the perfect everyday highlighter that can go that can go with cool tone looks and warm tone bronzy looks, which is why I love it. And it is perfect for my fair skin tone. I mean, yes. Yeah. So I know this one came later in the game because I got this for Christmas, but this quickly became my favorite highlighter of 2017. And that is the shade Nefri by Jeffree Star and ja, blah, duh, it's by Jeffree Star. So this is like a very pink, lavender, icy shade and I'm obsessed. I actually have it on right. Meow. Sticking with highlighters, this is the Kat Von D Alchemist palette and this is the coolest highlighting palette ever and it is the best one in 2017. So this has pink, purple, blue, and green, and they're very transformative shades. You can put them on your eyes, on your cheekbones, over top of lipstick. I just think this is the most universal, fun, creative highlighting palette out there. My top favorite foundation of 2017 is a drugstore one, and this is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. I did use this earlier in the years of like 2016, but I have literally worn this every single time I've done my makeup. I just love this. It is my go-to foundation. It is good for oily and dry skin because I have very dry skin and this still looks really good on me. So y'all should pick it up because it's cheap. Okay, so my most loved makeup brand of all in 2017 is, drum roll, Morphe. So my favorite absolute favorite palette that I am obsessed with is the Morphe 35B. You guys have seen this in tons of my tutorials. This is my go-to colorful palette. When I feel like doing something creative, this is what I grab. It's 25 bucks. You guys absolutely, dutly, salutely need this. This particular palette I have not talked about on my channel and I have no idea why, but this is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and girl, the look of these shades, they're gorgeous. So in general, just Morphe eyeshadows are my favorite eyeshadows of 2017 because of the price, the blendability, and how they work. I bought a bunch of single palettes from them at the store and I use those every single day. They're in my go-to palette. You guys have seen them in some tutorials. So Morphe, Jaclyn Hill, palettes, single eyeshadows, best of 2017. Okay, so my favorite liquid lipsticks and lip liners of 2017 are all drugstore. Are you guys proud of me? So my favorite shade is the Wet n Wild Nudie Patootie liquid lipstick. <laughs> I think this is the best drugstore liquid lipstick formula that is out there. I absolutely love this. If you have not tried the formula, go and get some. Ooh, excuse me. Go and get some for yourself, wet and wild, yes. The next uh, shade that I've absolutely loved is the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the shade Corset. This is again, very nude, but it's a lot more gray tone than the Nudie Patootie, which you guys all know I love my grayish shades. And my favorite lip liner, which I literally have used every single time I've done my makeup, no joke, is the NYX Lip Liner in Nude Beige. This is the most perfect muted nude tone. It's not warm and it's not cool. It's like right in the middle, so it will go with all the purple grunge shades, but it's gonna go with these really pale, nudey, warm shades. It's the most universal bomb lip liner ever. And if you don't have it, you need it. Oh, I almost forgot my other liquid lipstick, which this is not drugstore, but this is the Jeffree Star shade in Virginity. I have it on right now in the center of my lips, and that's what I love it for. It is the most transformative 
beautiful shade. I know this is limited edition, so Kat Von D Rec Requiem is very, very similar. So go get Kat Von D's because you need this for your lips. Best. I'm not going in any particular order. I'm just grabbing some random things from my bin. So let's go to some of my favorite tools. This is the e.l.f. powder brush. I've had this sitting in my makeup section for like a year and I never used it. And I used it like three months ago and I was like, <gasps> this gives the most beautiful blended yet striking structure contour of life. And it is so cheap. I don't know why I've never used this. It changed my life and it goes on so quick. Like go to the drugstore and get this. It'll change your life. The two eyeshadow brushes that have been my go-to in 2017 are the Morphe M507 and M506. These are two mini blending brushes. Everyone loves pencil brushes and I like them, but they're a little bit too like intense for my eyes. So these are literally, literally miniature little blendies that I love blending the lower lash line and also adding stuff to the outer corner and just depositing little amounts of color. Also, these are gonna be really good for people with hooded eyes and or people with small eyes. These are gonna be perfect for you. My favorite highlighter brush, I'm sure you guys can guess because I've used it in all my tutorials. It is the Real Techniques blend, wait, what is it called? Real Techniques setting brush. I use it today for my highlight and can't get enough of it. I think it deposits it perfectly, perfectly, perfectly. And it's true. All right, y'all are probably gonna slap me for this and be like, that's your favorite. Seriously, you got it for Christmas. But no joke, these Rouge and Rogue eyelashes, I have them on right now. I mean, come on, look how intense these are. Woo! These are the shade uh, Electra, and these are vegan fox mink lashes, and I love these. So you guys know that I suck at putting lashes on. Like, I, I'm so bad at it. But for some reason, one try and they were on perfectly. I didn't have to remove it, didn't have to fix it. I didn't even like nothing. I literally just put it on. It was like, poof, 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 done. So if you're someone that sucks at putting lashes on, I highly, highly recommend the Electra lashes from uh, Rouge and Rogue and also try out some of their other ones. This is the shade, or the, not the shade. This is the Paradox Lash, but Rouge and Rogue lashes, Black Magic Lashes, one or the other. I don't know why they have two different names, but get them. Okay, so my two favorite palettes of 2017 that are not Morphe are the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer Palette. I don't know why this isn't talked about more, but I just love this. This shade Courtney right here, girl, the most beautiful transition shade. And I just love the hot pink and the pops of color, this gold shade, it's stunning. So if you want a palette to like pull you out of your comfort zone and have you do more fun looks, you need this palette in your life. So I can't remember if I talked about this one last year, so sorry if I did, but this is the Love Sick Stack, Love Sick Stack by Melt Cosmetics. Oh my good -ness. This red shade is life. Like if you don't wanna buy the whole stack, you need the shade Love Sick. I use this shade almost every single time I do my makeup. Any red looks that I do, this is what's on my eyes. This is hands down my favorite palette in the planet, this Love Sick stack. I cannot get enough. Again, I don't think I posted this in my last year's video. Sorry if I did, but I have found a love that can never be replaced for this sugar pill love plus shadow you guys know that red shadows are my absolute favorite color and i have tried other bright red shadows and none of them beat this this is the best bright red eyeshadow it is love plus if i haven't said that already sugar pill getting it okay so my two favorite lip sticks and lip glosses are the jeffree star celebrity skin this is my favorite lipstick of 2017. I got this last year for Christmas and I wear this all the time. It is the most beautiful grayish nude tone. If you haven't tried this, 
you need it. If you're someone that doesn't like the liquid lipsticks, you haven't tried his formula, you should really try the ammunition ones because they're, oh, it's already shut. They're bomb, okay? I guess you can kind of tell that I'm a little bit obsessed with Jeffree Star. So, <clears throat> my uh, favorite NYX, my, uh, my favorite glosses are these, I know this is kind of a weird gloss, but it's the NYX Cosmetics Metals. These are like the metallic glosses. They are so pigmented, so incredible, so thick, so like amazing, but they don't move and they have the bombest fun colors. So if you have not tried this, you need it. Like I've said, you need everything else in this video because they're my favorite. So I'm gonna tell you, you need them. Okay, foundation primer. This is the Laura, Laura Mercier foundation primer. I love this. I got this sample from Sephora and this is totally empty and I have it in my cart right now to purchase some more because it is expensive. So I can't just like go buy right now, but it's on my list because I love this. It has an SPF of 30. It is moisturizing, but it's not like dewy, if that makes sense. So it's like you're putting a moisturizer on your skin that's not going to overly hydrate and make your makeup like wipe all the way off. I just, this is a good universal primer for dry slash normal skin tones. I'm not quite sure about oily. Blush, blush, blush. Tart blushes. Oh my goodness. So this is actually a little, uh, Sephora birthday party party. Oh my gosh birthday present. Thank you present and this is the shade party So I don't think you can buy this one, but Tarte blushes are my favorite blushes of 2017. I use this every day. I actually have it on right now Yes, I do. Um, I just love love, love it. Best blushes. They're not too pigmented. They're not not pigmented they blend perfectly. They're just good. Oh, and I do have all Morphe shadows on my eyes right now so you guys can see how it looks. That's not that much. Okay, so my favorite concealers are the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Beige. This is in everybody's favorite, so we don't need to talk about it. But this one you might not have expected. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. And I really like this. I'm in the shade light ivory. And I really, really like this. I, I do like it for concealer, but what I love it most for is carving out the brows and actually using it for an eyelid primer. That's kind of been my jam, but for concealer it is good too, but it doesn't beat the Tarte. So if you want a more uh, full coverage natural finish, because this is very like semi-matte, like it gives a more natural finish. like. This is like full coverage, matte, like intense. So if you have really dry skin, this is probably gonna be a better option for you. So photo finish concealer by Wet n Wild. And it, I think it's like $3, what? Brows. So I've not been doing my brows like at all actually cause I've been growing them out. So I literally just throw like a little bit in here and I kind of forgot how to do my brows. So I would like to figure out how to do them again. But this is the Urban Decay Brow Beater in the shade Dark. And I really, really like this because I feel like I can literally just like, like that. And my brows look kind of okay, maybe, you know? My favorite eyebrow gel is the Elf Brow, Ooh. the Elf Brow Gel. I don't know why no one talks about this. I never hear anyone talking about it. And it's so good. I've been trying to get like really cheap stuff in this last year because I didn't have a ton of money to spend on like a ton of makeup. So over the year, I've tried a lot of drugstore stuff and this brown gel, guys, go try it. All right, last but not least, this is the NYX Glitter Primer. I think this is super amazing. It is really cheap. I had the Too Faced Glitter Primer and I think this beats it and it is half the price. So if you are obsessed with glitter and you want a good glitter glue from the drugstore, girl, yes. All right guys, that is it for my best of beauty in 2017. This went by really quick, so hopefully the video's not super long. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next week, hopefully with a tutorial.